Ryan Dunn from Jackass uh, passed away. He, uh, the story is sad because uh, prior to passing away a couple hours before uh, he got in the car, he had tweeted a photo of him drinking with his buddies. And then it turned out that he crashed his Porsche. There was an unidentified passenger who also died in the crash. We have pictures of the Porsche, which, I mean, you can't even recognize it as a car. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's his Porsche. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so any sense of how long it was uh, between the, uh, the drinking pictures yes. and him driving? Uh, he had tweeted the photo three hours prior to the car accident. Okay, so that's tough to tell, right. you know, because you don't know how much he drank. It looks, you know, it's just a picture. You can't tell he's holding a drink. Uh, and, you know, obviously, if you were to make the counter argument and say, hey, look, by the time the thing got reported, et cetera, uh, you know, it took a while, so it might have been even earlier that he was driving after drinking. So there, I understand you can make both sides. The guy's dead. You don't want to, you know, go on and on about it in terms of, like, trying to figure out if he was at fault, et cetera. Right. We'll probably find out because they'll probably do an autopsy and find out what his blood alcohol level was. They have to. There was a, certainly another person involved. They would don't do it under all circumstances. Uh, you know, now I'm going to say something maybe even more controversial. In the Jackass movies, they take all these risks, and they, there's a sense of, like, the risks are never going to catch up with you. Right? right. And I was always worried about that. Maybe that's me being Grandpa Jank. Maybe that's me being a jerk. I don't know. Right. But if you keep taking risks at some point, they catch up with you. And again, we don't know enough here. I'm not saying that's definitely what happened, and I feel terrible for the guy. I'm not the kind of guy who's like, ha ha, you know, you take risks. This is the cause. No, I feel horrible about it. But uh, look, I, you know, I don't want people thinking, you know, maybe this is obvious, but like that you can do all that stuff and it's all going to be okay. Right. Sometimes it's not going to be okay because sometimes some things are just too dangerous. This hasn't been confirmed yet, but I read some reports that he was driving extremely fast in his Porsche when the accident happened. And I'm thinking since it was a sports car, you know, a fancy sports car, he was probably having fun with it. And I think that, you know, even if he wasn't drunk, don't, don't take risks in your fancy sports car, okay? Nothing gets under my skin more than drag racing because, look, you're putting your life at risk, right? But you're also putting everyone else's life at risk when they're on the road with you. Right. So, but that hasn't been confirmed either, so I don't, I don't want to, you know, blame him for that either. But, you know, if that is the case, there are two different lessons that could be learned from this, and it's, you right. know. And look, the thing is, we live in a glass house too, you know. Uh, we don't drink and drive, and we don't know again that he did that, et cetera, et cetera. But... Like, you drive fast, I drive fast, right? right so right. I don't want to be like Grandpa Jank, like, oh, don't ever go over 55, and that's what you got, and blah, blah, blah. I don't want people thinking that, right? I'm just saying, man, just watch out. Right. Sometimes, like, when you think you're invincible, sometimes you're not invincible, right? And life is a terrible way of showing you that. And so we all feel bad, of course, for everybody involved.